Do this thing right no first first I need this it's just one of those days where I'm gonna need this to get through this video tonight long week hey guys we are back and I know I said I was gonna do a Q&A video at the beginning of this week and I shot it but I was at my grandparents house my grandfather was not doing too well I tried to shoot it and make it work there uh, nothing about it felt right when I got back here and was looking at the footage it just something felt off and I it just wasn't good so I'm going to reshoot it. All the same questions. You can send me new ones, but they're probably going to end up in a new video. But for this q and I've got all the questions already. I'm just going to reshoot what I had and maybe put a little more effort into the answers that I was giving because I didn't like the ones I had. But with that said, this video is brought to you by Rovivon. Rovivon makes really cool, really tiny, and super bright flashlights. And they come in a lot of different versions. They've got polycarbonate, aluminum, stainless steel, and now titanium and a glow version. And you can't really see it that well on camera now, but these are the new models, and this is the glow version. And uh, let's see what we can do here. Turn this one on, shine it on that for a little bit, and it should start glowing green. They have it in two different versions, a red and an ultraviolet light emitting one. And of course, who does not love really awesome titanium? That's what this version is. It's the Mac Daddy of the Rovivon flashlights. If you'd like to see more or check them out yourselves or even buy one, there's a link in the description down below. With that out of the way, let's get into this week's EDC Weekly. The first submission this week comes from Jay Engel and you can find him on Instagram at jdoesknives. Those are, there's some underscores in there but you can see how it's spelled right here. I actually shared this photo over on the Best MEDC Instagram earlier this week and I had to feature it in this video because I liked it so much. It's just a really nice carry with some really cool and unique gear that you don't typically see on the EDC Weekly often, so that's why I chose it. It's something different. So here we go. First up here, the knife of choice, the primary knife of choice, is the Rick Henderer Generation 6 XM18 Slicer Grind and that is a DLT trading exclusive. The other knife you see pictured here just below that one is the Great Eastern Cutlery Number no. 15 Pattern Beer Scout in Beer Barrel Oak covers. So the handles are made with Beer Barrel Oak. The wallet pictured here is a Das of Phantom Mare Gun Deck Quick Draw Wallet, which I love Das of Phantom Mare wallets, and this is the newer version, big fan. The other piece of leather you see here is a Buffalo Leather Pocket Slip, which he says was gifted to him by a friend and has no name. That he knows of. You also see a Coke Solo 2.0 Stonewash Titanium Nuck Tool, or I guess technically a bottle opener tool, uh, but we all know what that is. And next up we see the Olight S1R, which obviously is a staple here on the EDC Weekly, and the pin of choice is something we haven't seen here before, and it is a Rick Hinderer Investigator pin in stainless steel with a battlefield pickup finish. So there you go, some pretty unique stuff, stuff we haven't seen here before. Always love to see that. But Jay says, I'm a full-time college student, part-time at an Asian fusion restaurant, and I work at a truck garage. I need an EDC that works day or night. Hinderer makes some of the best knives, and the Generation 6 is my latest addition to my ever-expanding collection. That's an expensive collection, man. Very expensive, and I don't know why I'm whispering. The Investigator is a nice compact pin that's tough as nails, and the Battlefield pickup finish makes it look already beat up, so I don't cringe if I drop it. I carry a traditional for the love of them, as well as for carrying a less threatening knife. The Beer Scout takes the Swiss Army knife to another level of class by adding that awesome classic wood aesthetic. And I do love a wood knife. I just wood handles on a knife is just it feels raw. Oh, I love it, and I don't have one. The Gun Deck Quick Draw is an amazing wallet that's superbly crafted and thinner than a bifold I used to have and at the same capacity. The Coke Solo is mainly there for fun and as a conversation piece, but occasionally I attach my keys to my belt loop with it. Finally, the Olight adds some utility to my kit and comes in handy to stick to the top of a car hood with a magnetic tail cap. It's a lifesaver if you're mechanically savvy. Well, that about wraps it up and thanks for hosting the show. You're awesome for that. And you are awesome for submitting. But no, really, truly, I do like this. I love seeing Hinderer knives and Chris Reeve knives. Uh, a lot of people don't understand why people spend so much money on them. Personally, I, I don't, and that's because I spend a lot of money on camera gear and all these other things in my life, camping gear, but um, I would love to check one of those out at some point just because they're so unique and the, the craftsmanship's awesome, but it's really cool to see that you've got that, a collection, and a Hinderer pin, which you really don't see here often on the EDC Weekly. So thank you, Jay. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway, and as a reminder, this 
is what's being given away this month. A luminous body version of the Aurora flashlight from Rovivon. And all you have to do is submit to the EDC. You don't have to be featured. Just go to edcw.co, submit. Even if you've submitted in the past, submit again. You can submit the same picture if you want. Doesn't matter. It just enters you into the giveaway. And if you didn't get featured last month, there's a chance you may still get featured this month. Anyway, my point is go to edcw.co, submit your EDC, even if you've already submitted it and you're entered to win one of these flashlights. This next submission comes from Thomas Moore, and it is just to shut up all those people out there who say, why don't you feature guns in your EDC Weekly? I do. It's just that people are not submitting them. So if you have a problem with me not featuring a gun in my EDC Weekly, you're part of the problem. Submit. Anyway, Thomas says he is only on Facebook, so if you want to follow him, tough cookie. Let's get into it. First up here, we have a Rovi Von Aurora flashlight. That is the A3 version in gun gray. It's the exact model that I actually featured in a video a few weeks ago. The knife of choice here is a Kershaw Leak, and the pin that he uses is a Pentel Intergel Alloy RT Gel Pin. He also has his key fob here, which he doesn't say much about it. There are no other keys shown. His card holder of choice is the Mastermind Apex 2. Next up is the Kronabi Sekel or Sekel 43mm watch. The Apple AirPods are his earbuds of choice, and his phone of choice is the iPhone 8 Plus, which he carries in an Apple leather case in black. The nail clippers you see there are Seiki Edge Stainless Steel 106 nail clippers, and his gun is a 6-hour P938 in 9mm, and those are Hydra Shock JHPs. So there you go, pretty simple setup, pretty straightforward, and all Thomas has to say is, I use the phone for counting step mainly, however, the buttons switch out through the app. I don't know what that means. I use the phone for counting step mainly, However, the buttons switch out through the app. Can't tell if that's like really wise words or gibberish. I got nothing. But anyway, continuing the theme of seeing things that aren't typically on this show, the Kronabi is a watch that has never been on this show. No Kronabi watch ever. But also I think this is the first Rovi Von Aurora that's been featured. So a lot of firsts this time uh, but yeah, this is cool. It's a nice little theme there. You've got silver and black, a little bit of white, really just in the AirPods and on the label of the fingernail clipper. So it's a silver and black EDC. I think it's put together really well. Very simple. But thank you, Thomas, for sharing. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. Anyway, the third and final submission this week comes from Michael SK. I believe it's a really nice photo. And there is also some gear here that we've never seen in the show. So let's take a look. First up here is the Samsung Galaxy Note. That's his phone of choice. He didn't say which model and it's also not pictured, so I can't really tell by looking, but he does carry it in a Zero Lemon 5500 milliamp hour battery case. The watch of choice, which is a really unique and cool looking watch, is the Seiko Wired Agam 701, and on that he has a Zurich, Zurich leather band. And finally on that is a no-name dual deployant clasp. The key organizer you see here is another first, the Quiet Carry Q2, and on that he has Leatherman scissors. He also has a pocket dangler, which is the Zach Tools key ring holder, and on that is a Nitai's S Beaner. His multi-tool of choice here is the Leatherman Squirt PS4, and he also carries a true utility telepin. The flashlight pictured is a Phoenix UC02 USB rechargeable light, puts out about 130 lumens, and then what you see next to that is actually a set of titanium tweezers, which he also says have no name. The wallet of choice is the Andar the Pilot Slim Wallet, and then finally on top of that is the Zutility Metal Comb, the Hedgehog. I actually also carry one of those in my wallet. I'm gonna spare some commentary because he has quite a bit to say. He says, being prepared, organized, and stylish are the themes for my EDC. My phone, not shown, combines these all, from pictures to productivity, staying connected, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, there we go. I also added a Zero Lemon 5500 milliamp hour battery case to provide a whole day's use. Being prepared for the occasional handyman project needs the proper tools and the Leatherman Squirt PS4 delivers a nice set of compact pliers, a file, scissors, and some screwdrivers. For no light situations, I carry the Phoenix LED light. It's compact, very bright, charges easily with micro USB, and the clip adds for hands-free versatility. Then there's the True Utility Telepin, which helps with the occasional restaurant bill or quick note. To stay organized, I use both the Andar Pilot Wallet and the Quiet Carry Key Organizer. The Pilot provides the RFID protection and fans out my cards for easy access with the pull of the trigger. I also keep a Zutility Metal Comb inside for bad hair days. Quiet Carry Q2 helps manage my keys, and I chose the multi-tool option to help with opening packages and beverages. The stonewash finish and the blue Q logo adds quite a bit of style. 
To organize my tools, I use the Nitize S Beaner Microlock, then the Zack Tools clip holder to comfortably store the tools in my pocket. Finally, to add some style and function, I wear a Seiko wired Agam 701 watch that has dual time stopwatch and timer features, which helps it work and with cooking. My EDC is always evolving, but this has been a great and useful setup so far. I enjoy your channel and want to thank you for providing a forum that invites us to share something that is personal and fun to us all. Keep up the great work, Michael. You know what, thank you, Michael, and thank you for sharing. You know, I have a second entry into this month's giveaway, and I just want to mention something. I get a lot of comments about, this isn't EDC or whatever. No, stop it. This is EDC. Everybody has an EDC. Everybody. Even if you're not into EDC, the things you carry on you, that's your EDC. Whether you want it to be or not, that's by definition what it is. It doesn't have to be uh, a gun. You don't have to have a gun to have an EDC. You don't have to carry a knife. And no, you don't need a gun or a knife to submit to this show. I want everybody to be included into this whole EDC thing because everybody does carry something with them every day. And that's just the point of this. Everybody has an everyday carry. And I don't want to cut out somebody just because they don't carry a specific thing. I want to bring you in and bring others in and just share what we carry just because, because we all have different preferences. We all carry different things and we all carry them in different ways. And that's kind of the point of all of this. So no, you don't need a gun. You don't need a knife. You don't have to have anything in particular. There is a certain style to EDC, the, the whole community. There's, there's stuff that does better than other things when I share pictures, but uh, eventually we're gonna get past that. And that's, that's what I want. I'm limited to what you guys submit and I want you to submit regardless of what you have. Take a picture of what you got in your pockets and tell me a little bit about it. If you're a firefighter, tell me about it. Tell me how that stuff gets you through your day. If you're an engineer, a police officer, uh, whatever you may be, a teacher, share your EDC and tell me how you're carrying it and how that stuff helps you throughout your day and how maybe it could be improved. Ask questions about how you could improve your EDC. I don't know. This is an open forum. It's an evolving show. I'm changing it and improving it every week and I need your help to do that. And one of the best ways you can do that is by clicking the links in the description down below. If you want to buy anything you see in any of the videos or really even anything at all, click those links. It'll take you through to Amazon. Usually sometimes other websites, there are sometimes affiliates associated with that and it's definitely affiliated if it's on Amazon, uh, but clicking that helps support the show financially, uh, but sharing and liking the videos helps too. So if you did enjoy this video, do that. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to see more stuff like this in the future and a lot of other everyday carry content. I've got a lot of stuff in the pipeline and I think you're gonna like a lot of it, all of it. You're gonna love it. Just do it. Hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell beside it so you're notified when I upload new videos and follow us around the web. You can find the channel on Twitter and Instagram at bestamedc. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at caspertech. And I also have a Discord server. It'll be linked down below. I'm always available there to talk to. So if you wanna discuss EDC, technology, anything. That's where it's all happening. Go to Discord, join that server, and you can talk to me directly. I'm there almost all the time, almost every single day, and just ping me. I'll talk. But I think that's everything, so thank you again, Robivon, for sponsoring this episode, making it possible. If you want to check out a Robivon flashlight, it is linked down below. And of course, until next week, carry on.